All right, so I'm about to film for ASMR. This is a little setup right here. You know, I really enjoy doing ASMR. So many people don't know about it, but so many do, and so many are getting hip to it. But it's more, it's like a, it's like a meditative thing, you know what I mean? And people use it for meditative purposes, you know what I mean? Helps them to sleep. Some of them with depression even, you know, anxiety issues, like things. And everything that I'm doing, even with not a statistic, is, you know, giving back to the world. It's, you know, trying to help. It's about to be time to roll. How y'all like it? Isn't it dope? Boom, behind the scenes. A little setup here. See if I can get y'all. Simple little setup, right? Simple little setup, but it makes money. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So I'm sitting here editing this video of the first, one of the first videos of me speaking that I ever took. It is, uh, man from like how long ago would it have to be this video is from before i started playing for you know poker professionally this was when i was aspiring to play poker professionally but i knew that i was gonna do it once i started i mean i had already written a book about the power of perspective well not about the power of perspective but it was the first chapter in the book called the power of perspective talking about how your mind shapes and runs your world and the stuff you put into your mind I mean, literally, it's like laying down the bricks for the you know kingdom that you want to see every day. And I was, I was saying this years ago. I was 22 here. I wanted to show you all this because I think it's super important that like you understand that with with some hard work, man, and really just some focus, some hard work, some focus, belief. The belief is what keeps pushing you, first of all, but it's also what brings the thing to you. It pushes you towards the thing but it also brings the thing to you. That's the most important part, and I feel like that's the thing I'm trying to get across. So I hope y'all get something from this because, like I said, this was me years ago talking of, talking about how I know I'm gonna be you know, a professional poker player and how I will go to the World Series and crush professionals. And I've done all that already. I am a professional poker player. So I just want y'all to know that anything that you want to do, how small, how big, doesn't matter. It's all about you. Whatever it is that you feel passionate about in your heart enough to keep going in, no matter what anybody says, feels, or does in regards to what you do, think, and feel. And if you believe in yourself and keep pushing in that belief, nothing's going to stop you, yo. I just wanted to share this thought. I'm realizing every day that I can make whatever it is that I want in my life happen. If I want it to happen, I can make it happen, and it's been happening. <laughs> I mean, and it's really as simple as not being swayed by other people's opinions, like having their thoughts overshadow your own, having their opinions, their emotions, their feelings become your own because they're deciding what happens with your world and then they, they form your perspective and rather you know it or not your perspective is what shapes and runs your world by controlling your perspective therefore you control your world so you tell yourself you know what i don't care what's going on um i'm always happy what's stopping you from being happy really nothing but yourself aside from like, I don't know if you have like some serious ailment, you know, Ail you know, um, but shit, even then I've heard people bouncing back from some very severe things and they'll say, you know what? I was just happy the whole time. I told myself, I don't have this thing, you know, this problem, this isn't a problem for me. And then they lived their lives and they ate healthy and they, you know, exercised if they were able to and got better. But my whole point is, not even trying to get all miracle, like, you know, pie in the sky kind of um, picture. I'm not trying to paint that kind of picture for you. Although it is kind of really like that. I mean, it's like, if you can see it in your mind, then you can hold it in your hand. I heard that quote from, who did I hear that quote from? I don't know, but that's what he said. I'll remember it later, I'm sure. Because if you wanna be successful, what do you do? You behave like successful people behave. You see yourself successful, right? You think you're already there before you even have the money, before you have 
the uh, fame, before you have the credentials, before you have, you know, all the critics, whatever. You know that you were great before anybody else realized it. You know, LeBron James knew he was great before anybody else realized it. Warren Buffett, Barack Obama, Will Smith was just talking, I don't know about just talking about, but I'm just seeing him talk about having the insane belief that he can create anything, you know? Like, you want extra, you want exceptional, then you have to be willing to think exceptional. If you want unrealistic progress, then you have to think unrealistic, but not thinking illogical. You know what I mean? Meaning, I'm not saying, I'm not saying sit in a room somewhere and just feel and vibrate and, you know, think you're gonna see a check in the mail like you know like there, there's there's twenty thousand dollars coming to my mailbox there's twenty thousand dollars coming to my mailbox and then wait for the twenty thousand dollars to come to your mailbox and do nothing because that's not logical but if you sit in the room and you focus on twenty thousand dollars and you say i already have this twenty thousand dollars it's put away somewhere it's just i already have it when you have that attitude that i am already I have already, that energy is what's forced to come toward you. We only receive what we put out. You reap what you sow, karma. There's different words for it all over the place, but we only get from the world what we put out into it. We put out, we get back. If you put out I have, I am, instead of I want, or I don't have, you know, or I wish I had. You're gonna keep wishing you had, and you're gonna keep saying you don't have, and you're gonna keep saying you wish it were this way, whatever. Say I have, and it'll come to you. Let it be what guides you, you know? Because that is what may, it motivates you to do things that will lead to that thing. It'll motivate you to meet people, do certain things that you wouldn't do, learn about things that you need to learn about to get to that $20,000 instead of praying for it to come into the mail. That's how that's effective, that's how that's powerful, that's how that's real. And it's happening for me right now, in my life right now. I'm on my journey. Um, to becoming a professional poker player. I'm already maybe the greatest poker player there is. Other people just haven't realized it yet because I haven't shown them. But I decided to show them. And you'll see it soon. Please watch and support me, by the way, because I support all of y'all, which is the really only reason I'm making this video. You know, I didn't even know what I wanted to say, honestly, when I cut on the camera. I just knew I wanted to say something. And so I hope I've motivated and inspired somebody out there today, a whole lot of y'all you know the world because if I inspire y'all then y'all can inspire the world too other people get inspired when other people when people around them are excited and happy and ready and you know ready to make them ready like let's do this together you feel me baby let's get this money together let's let's get this success together let's travel together let's relieve this stress together whatever it is whatever we decide to do we create our own worlds perspective baby your mind your mind makes everything real. Tell yourself you're happy, you're successful, you're wealthy, abundant, you know, with love, with finance, with, you know, affection, whatever it is that you want. You have it, it will come. Act, behave as if you already have it and not just say it, but also say it, think it all the time. And most importantly, feel it, smile, you know, be happy, feel how it feels to hold that money in your hand you know, thumb through the paper, smell it. What does it smell like? I can, I can sense it in my mind, I know what it smells like. What's that woman feel like? You're holding her, she feels soft, she warm, what's her smell? How does she sound when she talks in your ear? Or the man, you know, vice versa. What's that feel like to you? Feel that feeling. Isn't that feeling worth going after? Isn't that feeling worth having? If it's worth having, it's worth fighting for. So fight for it with your mind and fight out all the other distractions. Peace, y'all. Be blessed, be prosperous, be everything you can be, baby.